First, determine whether or not your PC can be overclocked. Your CPU and motherboard, specifically, need to support overclocking. Go to your manufacturer's website to confirm. Begin by cleaning your PC. We suggest using an anti-static wristband to prevent damaging any electrical components. If you don't have one, remember to ground yourself throughout the process by touching your PC case often. Removing any dust that's built over time helps your hardware run more efficiently and will keep overall temperatures down. Open your case and target fans and places for airflow. If you're planning to overclock your CPU often, you may want to consider upgrading your cooler. Next, make a note of the current temperatures that your PC is running. Free apps, such as HW Monitor, can show temperature stats. CPUs generally run around 170 degrees Fahrenheit while working hard. If your CPU is over 175 degrees Fahrenheit while idle, overclocking might damage your CPU. Press Ctrl, Shift, and Escape to pull up your task manager. Here, you can check your current CPU usage. If it's often at 100%, it may not be safe to overclock your CPU. Benchmark your CPU's performance using a program like Cinebench. This will give you a good indication of your current performance and will be useful to compare changes after overclocking. To overclock your PC, turn it off. After everything is shut down, turn your PC back on while pressing the delete key several times. This will launch your BIOS or UEFI menu. Navigate to the processor menu. This may look different depending on your PC. Locate the CPU multiplier, which determines the computer's clock speed. The default for most CPUs is 100 MHz. The range of numbers you can adjust your multiplier by will depend on your CPU. I adjusted mine by multiples of 10, but you can increase or decrease by single digit ratios to fine tune your desired performance results. Continue with the computer's boot up and do a benchmark test. You can continue to increase the multiplier until you get your target results. If your computer begins to crash or you get a blue or black screen, boot to the BIOS menu and dial the multiplier back. You can increase your computer's performance by adjusting the CPU voltage. The default voltage for most PCs is 1.25. Slowly increase the voltage, continuing the boot up and testing the benchmarks with each increase. When adjusting the CPU voltage, be careful to not overcrank it, as too high of a voltage can permanently damage your CPU or other components. We suggest not exceeding 1.4 volts. Continue to tweak your CPU multiplier and voltage until you get your desired stats while maintaining a stable PC. Remember to keep an eye on your temperatures. After overclocking your PC, you should notice an increase in performance as you're gaming. 